If your baby has been diagnosed with any type of mental disorder, delayed or impaired motor skills, or cerebral palsy, it could very well be the result of medical malpractice or doctor negligence during delivery or following delivery. Most injuries sustained at birth or during the process of giving birth can result in significant medical, emotional, and financial challenges over the course of a lifetime. If your child was injured when he or she was born, it needs to be determined who is at fault, such as the obstetrician, nurse, physician's assistant, pediatrician, or other health care provider. Our skilled birth injury lawyers can help you. Do not wait to contact our childbirth injury lawyers for a free consultation. Many are former insurance defense attorneys and have been handling serious injury claims nationwide for many years. All birth injury cases are handled on a contingency fee basis, meaning there are no fees if we do not win for you. Some of the birth injury claims our child injury lawyers have handled over the course of their legal careers include cerebral palsy, Herb's palsy, cranial nerve trauma, fractures, hypoxia, intracranial hemorrhage, meningitis, paralysis, shoulder dystocia, and brachial plexus injury, spinal cord trauma, and labor and delivery injuries to the mother. No matter what type of birth injury your baby has suffered, you need the help of our experienced birth injury lawyers as you and your child may face a lifetime of complications due to the injury. Many types of injuries induced during childbirth can be prevented. As an example, cerebral palsy is a very common type of birth injury. Cerebral palsy occurs due to a lack of sufficient oxygen to the fetus during labor. This prolonged lack of oxygen ultimately causes permanent brain tissue damage. The obstetrician team should be able to prevent this lack of oxygen by monitoring variations in the heart rate of the fetus during birth, but that is not always the case. Other types of birth injuries, such as fractures, paralysis, and nerve trauma, can be the end result of the doctor or healthcare practitioner being too rough during the birthing process. Some birth injuries, such as shoulder dystocia, are a result of the fetus being too large or awkwardly positioned in the uterus. As parents, all we really want are healthy children, but unfortunately, some medical professionals injure the baby during birth. Where and how birth injury occurs dictates who is responsible or accountable for the injuries. Sometimes an insurance company is responsible, as in an injury by an individual doctor in private practice. Other times, third-party or corporate entities such as hospitals or healthcare organizations are responsible. No matter who is responsible, our childbirth injury attorneys will help you obtain the full amount of financial compensation for your injuries based on pain and suffering, current medical expenses, future medical costs, and rehabilitation. If your child has been injured due to the negligence or carelessness of a doctor, nurse, hospital, obstetrician team, or physician's assistant, please connect with our birth injury lawyers for a free consultation. We charge no legal fees if we do not recover for you and your baby. No matter what state you were injured in, our lawyers can help as they serve all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C., including Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, Washington, D.C., West Virginia, Wyoming, and Wisconsin.